To find the reciprocal of a number, you basically just flip it upside down. Often you see this with fractions, but you can do it with integers as well. So if I had you know, any a over b, I could find its reciprocal by just flipping the fraction. So we would have b over a. So some examples, so 3 fourths, reciprocal would be 4 thirds. Negative 7 halves, reciprocal would just be negative 2 sevenths. What about 1 half? Well, that would just be, instead of 1 over 2, we'd have 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 2. So you might say, well, what about 7? What's the reciprocal of that? You can imagine it's the same thing as 7 over 1, which then becomes an easy flip to 1 seventh. Uh, what if you have a mixed number? What if you have something like 4 and a half? Well, you can't do reciprocal to a mixed number until you turn it into an improper fraction. So we saw this in a previous video. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9 put it over the 2, so we get 9 halves, and then we can go ahead and flip this to 2 ninths. Um, what about 1? Well, 1 is just the same thing as 1 over 1, and the reciprocal of 1 over 1 is 1 over 1, which is just 1. So 1's reciprocal is itself. Negative 1's reciprocal is negative 1. What about 0? Well, 0 is the same thing as 0 over, say, 1 or anything. doesn't really matter. It could be any, over any number. We flip that, we get 1 over 0, which er, can't do. It's undefined. So 0 does not have a reciprocal. A negative reciprocal is something that comes up, uh, particularly with lines, with, power, with uh, perpendicular lines. A negative reciprocal is just the fraction flipped and negated. So if we have 6 fifths, the negative reciprocal would be negative 5 sixths. And if we had, say, negative 3, the reciprocal of that would be 1 third, because right? we flip and negate. If we had 7, the reciprocal would be negative one seventh.